In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can accomplish some jumping without anything complicated like ray casting or anything like that. And just keep it simple and quick. So since there's no ad in this video, let's get started. So I have a basic scene here with just a floor, um, a cube, and the player. So the player has a, uh, a move script on him. And I'll show you what that script looks like. It's just a quick um, short script here, about two lines. And all it, allows, all it allows the player to do here is just move around the scene like that. So let's go ahead and code in some jumping. And the first example of a jumping we're going to do is using um, velocity. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So heading back to the code, we've created four variables. A float for jump, which is public. A float for jump force which is also public, a vector three, which I call jump, and a rigid body, which I called ridge. Next, we'll need the start functionality. In the start functionality, we set up the jump to be the new vector three with the jump H, and then our ridge, which is our rigid body, which go ahead and make the reference there. Create the update function, and inside the update function, you do a if the rigid body velocity is equal to zero, then go ahead and check if the player presses space and you can go ahead and add force to your rigid body. I prefer using the pulse mode. Now let's head back into Unity. And here we'll go ahead and just add these values. So for jump H, we'll put four, that's jump height. And then jump force, I go ahead and put two. Now we'll see that we're able to jump only after we've touched the floor and our velocity has gone back to zero. It doesn't matter what platforms you're on and it does not use this tag or ray cast and I can spam this spacebar and I will only be able to jump once my velocity is zero. Let's go ahead and look at another way of doing this by setting tags to the green floor and the white cube and use tags for the next example. We've made some changes to the code. We've, we've created a private boolean which is is grounded and we're using that is grounded variable in the if the player presses space and we've created on collision enter functionality let's go ahead and see how that works so back in unity make sure that your floor or um, any other objects are set with the tag floor and that's because the script uses a tag so anything that doesn't have the tag like this new game object here um, you will not be able to jump on it like we're able to jump here and we're able to jump again but once we're on that object see i'm hitting space right now and I cannot jump at all until I come off that object and I can jump again. And in case you guys don't know how to set tags, let me show you real quick. Go ahead and click on the new object, go down to tag and find floor. If floor wasn't there, you just hit create new tag and then go back into it and tag it. So now if I jump on this new object, I'm still able to jump again. All right. All right, and that's it. I know it was a fast tutorial, guys, but remember it is YouTube, it is a video. You can always pause it or even slow it down. And also, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can have a little bit more publicity and just reach a bigger audience. Also, uh, give us a thumbs up and share if you can. We really appreciate it. Also, and finally, if you're interested in also um, joining our live one-on-one -on -one classes, just head over to the link below, the online code coaching com where we teach uh, kids and adults how to create awesome video games like you're seeing displayed on the screen right now. All right, take it easy and see you next time.